Friday, y'all. Uh, good morning. Let me plug this back in because the battery power on this is, I don't know, running about the six minute range. Thanks. Whoa. Got a bit of a mullet going on. Maybe more than a bit. Scary. Uh, where did I put it? Daggum. How did a second ago? Scanning the room. Does this happen to you guys? Happens to me all the time. Misplacing things. Hilariously, because of course I am, this is one of my favorite verses of all time. It's a penultimate, useful, everyday verse. Go ahead and t take a Sharpie, tag it up on your wall, apologize to your mom later. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Now, you could take some of the thighs and thines out of there if, if, if those just mussy up, make it feel like Shakespeare and not real. Um, I like thighs and thines, but I'm an actor, so perhaps uh, my pretension leads me to like such things. Um, I don't know if anything could be more important than this on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of, specifically, maintaining your relationship with God. Leaning not on your own understanding. Do you know how difficult that is? It is so difficult we need divine help. That's how hard it is. To be like... To let God go before us in all things. Man, I, I don't know. I'm assuming it works the same for ladies. I definitely know it works this way for dudes. Uh, being a dude and being around a lot of dudes. That first and foremost, when confronted with a problem, our mind goes a worrying. Could be anybody's problem, our problem or somebody else's. We go Bzzz, as quick as possible. Let's think up with this. Let's come up with a solution, workable solution. Let's do this workable solution, and then we can move on. We don't have to deal with this emotional flabber flu anymore. Uh, that, for example, is leaning on one's own understanding. And how often does that work out, y'all? Let's say dudes. Let's say dudes out there in, in relationships, any sort of relationship, really. How, how, how well does that sit usually when you just try to come up with solutions? Let's say with your loved one. Not awesome well. Every once in a while it totally works. Oh, that's a good idea. Most of the time they're just, somebody just wants to hug or wants to be, no, wants their feelings recognized and wants a hug and wants you to be a little bit sad that they're sad. Totally impractical, our own understanding says. But how powerful is empathy? Monstrous powerful. Just one of billions of ways in which our instincts, uh, perfectly sound, lead us in ways that are actually not helpful. And indeed, our, our very self, our very humanness, has been cracked, is cracked, and is broken. Is attached and grasping at all things. Wants, wants so badly for us to be God, basically. For us to decide all that is good, all that is not good. And for us, as well as just in general and the grand, uh, the grand thesis of things. But to get metaphorical, it's like we're at war, because, you know, y'all, we are. Two sides are at war. They're standing there with their uh, various and sundry sharpened uh, 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 accoutrement of destruction, and they are waging war against each other, fighting, 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 people are dying. They really are trusting in these weapons. They've trained with these weapons. These weapons have... Uh, yielded good results for them before, but still, in every crossing of the spears, uh, some fall, and uh, guts fall out, and they cry and whine a while until they're dead. And then others can back away, get back to the line. And you know, they've been going, they've been going at it pretty, pretty back and forth all day. Some, some wins on this side, some wins on that side, so finally they back on up. They back on up. And there is a, uh, a truth speaker amongst one of the sides. And they're down by they're down by two. They have two less soldiers. The other side knows this. 
but someone on that side, let's say a truth sayer, let's go ahead for the sake of, of uh, metaphor and mythos, let's make it a little boy. Let's make it a little girl. A little girl is out there on the battlefield, and uh, she's been dressing wounds and uh, sharpening swords and whatnot. And she says, you know, the sky looks like my father used to tell me the sky would look before terrible things. The sky is going to rain fire. Everyone thinks she's ridiculous. Thinks she's hilarious. But she says, you know what, but I've, I've prayed. I've prayed and there will be a shield that will surround our entire side. And the weapons in your hands will be useless. Fire will rain down from the sky. But if you but enter under the shield, you'll be saved from the fire. And even people on her side are like, chick, you crazy. Who brought this crazy girl here? But something in her Joan of Arc demeanor, they believe. And indeed, she does something they don't want her to do. She runs to the front lines, but she slips between their fingers because she's all fast and little girlish. Gets to the front line and shouts to the other side. Says, come over to this side. Lay your weapons down. Come over to this side and you will be saved for terrible things uh, are about to occur. And man, they don't want to come, but something in her demeanor convinces some to come. The rest of them are like, no, nah, I got weapons here. I know what weapons can do. I trust in weapons. Weapons will avail me well, and they have already, and I've taken many of your brethren, ha, 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 and they show their butt and their crazy face, ah, haka, haka faces, and do whatever they do. But some come, and actually, and, and some are afraid to even stand around the girl because they think she's crazy. They're like, I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be near these people. And they step out. And they're actually sort of in on the in-between, even more watchful. But they're trusting. Gosh darn it, they have weapons. They have weapons and they have their mind and they have their training. Lo and behold, a rain of fire <laughs> falls down from the sky. Meteorites, flaming frogs, hail with shuriken in them. Lays to waste all who are not behind this magical girl, little girl shield by the grace of God. Many were delivered that day. Many more in that day. They fought no more that day. They probably went on to have something else to fight about later. Such is the way with our own understanding. We would rather cling to our meager weapons that yield us, you know... Most of the time, 50-50 tend to be right most of the time about these things I've decided and I've used to battle me through this world. But to live by faith, grace, truth, love, divine truth, grace, faith, and love, is to be freed from the whole process. Let us be twinned. Let us be twinned in our pursuit of holiness and conflict not. Will it be that simple? Eh, probably not. In the grand scheme of things, maybe. Again, our understanding, very limited in terms of time. This is way too long. Why do I have to go into story time? I kind of like story time. Jesus, you parables, right? Shoo. Amen. Say la.